What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. So last week I asked if anyone would be interested in seeing the skincare products I've been using that have been changing the game for me. So pretty much it was a resounding yes. So here we are now. I'm going to share all the products, my morning products and my night products. A lot of them are the same, but we'll separate them just to keep it clear for everybody. So I'll show like a before, but here is essentially my after. I, I do have makeup on, but I'll show before and afters without makeup as well. Um, I was breaking out in these rashes that were red, bumpy, itchy, all kinds of stuff. So I was like, enough is enough. Time to go see a dermatologist. So I went to the dermatologist and we kind of went through all my products and talked about what would be good for my skin. I have very sensitive skin, by the way, and then what, you know, isn't the best. So we have come to the conclusion that these are like some magical products for me. Make sure you remember though that these are what are working for me does not necessarily mean it will work for you. Also, I am by no means a professional, so I 1000% recommend going to the dermatologist if you can and talking to a professional about this just because again this is working for me it might not for you so don't come for me if it doesn't but they are clean products um for good for sensitive skin good for all types of skin really so let's get into it all right for the morning to wash this is my favorite favorite wash as of right now it's CeraVe hydrating cream to foam cleanser i really like this one because it gives like a, it has like a milky feel which i really like that um, because I feel like it cleans really deep and it was developed with dermatologists. So no wonder my dermatologist recommended this. Love this one. I use it morning and night. After I wash, I go in with the Ordinary, the niacinamide. It's the 10% and zinc 1%. This is good for redness, for blemish prevention, all of that. I love this stuff. My dermatologist said, yes, keep using this. It's also like $6. So this is a good one to have on deck. Then again, back to CeraVe. I love me some CeraVe. I've been using this moisturizer for honestly, probably 10 plus years now. When I went to the dermatologist, like in middle school or high school, I don't even remember, they said to use this and I never get flaky skin in the winter. I live in Ohio, so it gets pretty cold here. This stuff does the trick, but it's also not too thick for the summer. I love this stuff. You can lather it on. I personally like it with the pump because it's better than sticking your fingers in the tub, but that's just my opinion. Alrighty, and then after that, in the mornings, don't forget your sunscreen. Um, I'm not obsessed with any specific sunscreen. The one I'm using right now is the Kula. It's just the classic sunscreen spray, and it's in the Pina Colada scent, which is so good. It smells like summer, it smells like vacation. Really good. Um, but yeah, I just like Kula because it's clean ingredients, but there's tons of other sunscreens. Just make sure you're putting a sunscreen on. You need some SPF on your face. And then, to finish it off, the Tarte Shape Tape Eye Cream. If you have used the Tarte um, Shape Tape that, or Concealer, you know that stuff is like magic. Well, the, the eye cream version, oh my gosh, this is like to die for. I literally love this eye cream. It's, um, you kind of put it on, um, I've never done this before, wow. <laughs> you put it on with this like little applicator so you don't have to put your fingers in anything. I love that. All right, that's morning, I keep it simple. I do not use a toner. I know a lot of people love toner, but I don't use it. It's just too stripping for me, so I just steer clear from any and all toners. Okay, moving on now to nighttime skincare routine. I know, I know I shouldn't use these, but I do because I use waterproof mascara, so I use the makeup remover wipes. I know that they can like rip your skin and like it's just not good, that they're just too aggressive on the skin. But unless you have a better idea on what I can use to get rid of my waterproof mascara every single night, I'm gonna have to keep using these. But I don't use it on my skin, only on my eyes, just to get the mascara off. Then I go in yet again, CeraVe, with the honestly don't know how to pronounce this, micellar water, I think. Um, it's hydrating and honestly, you can feel that it is hydrating when you take it off. I just use one of those little pads. I end up using a couple actually, but uh, this stuff is awesome. Just takes literally all the makeup off, use it on my face and down my neck, it's great. Then I go in again just with that same face wash as earlier, love this stuff. Also from CeraVe, okay, don't forget. Serums go next after your face wash. I use just the niacinamide yet again. And then again, wow, can I say again any more times? Probably. I use the CeraVe uh, moisturizer because it's the bomb. All right, and then this is a product that is actually, my dermatologist, um, what's it called, 
prescribed it to me. Uh, so you cannot get this in the stores, you can't get this from Target, Walmart, any of that. Uh, but it's this tretinoin 0.025%. Uh, and it's a gel. It, this stuff is saving me. <laughs> This stuff is amazing. Honestly, I'm loving this. I think this is what's really making the difference. Obviously, all of the, the combination of all of the products, but this is really good. It does, in the beginning, make your skin flaky. So putting makeup on after using this was not fun. But I'm to the point now where I can use it and my skin doesn't flake off. It's just, it's really helping with the blemish control and the breakout control. So I'm super, super, super grateful for that product. Okay, and then one last product that we talked about, me and my dermatologist talked about, was getting this. So I, he didn't necessarily say to get this Panoxyl brand, but he told me to get a benzoyl peroxide, um, like acne wash, and to use it in the shower. So I picked up Panoxyl acne foaming wash. It's the benzoyl peroxide, 10%. Uh, it's the maximum strength. I believe they have another strength too. This is the highest. So I went with this because I was like, you know what? We're about to get these breakouts gone. So. I grabbed this one, I just got it at Walmart, I believe you can get it at Walmart, Target, Amazon, all of that. It's just a really deep cleansing wash, but he did recommend using this in the shower because it can stain things, so that way I get in, I can wash it in the shower, wash my face in the shower with this, and rinse it off, and I'm not worried about ruining anything. So I think this has also been a big game changer for me. Um, I am really loving these products that I'm using. Again, this is just what's working for me, but I love it. Honestly, if you don't know where to start, I would start with changing your just like typical products to CeraVe just because they're clean, they get the job done, and they're pretty inexpensive as well. You can get them at your local drugstore, Target, Walmart, probably Amazon, I would assume. But this is what's working for me. I'm gonna keep this up, uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, I, my skin continues to, to flourish because it's been pretty good lately. And so, you know, it's not perfect, but I'm human. Crazy, I know. But <laughs> this is what I'm loving. I'm gonna keep this up. If I have any other products though that I add in, maybe I'll do a second little skincare video. But for now, that's all I have. Um, let me know if you have any questions. And also check me out over on Instagram at the Adeline Post. Mwah! See you soon.